So I haven't done one of these drive with me videos in a while. I decided I would today and I've got my friggin' Duncan with me because we love a coffee addict. But um, I have a very, very important topic to talk about today. It's just, it's just really hard for me to talk to you guys about this because it's like it brings up like really bad memories. Today I'm going to be discussing a topic that I'm very passionate about. My hatred for this specific topic was born out of a traumatic experience. Um, so, um, as you probably have read in the title of this video, why do stink bugs smell like cilantro? And this topic, this, if you're watching this and you're like, well, how, why am I here? I'm on the weird side of YouTube again. That's right, you are. But also, this topic is extremely important and needs to be talked about. And if you can hear my air like, it's because it's like 100 degrees outside and I'm literally dying. Like, I'm sure I have lovely pit stains right now. Why? Do stink bugs smell like cilantro? Or is it why does cilantro smell like a stink bug? Which came first, the stink bug or cilantro? I absolutely despise, despise cilantro. It's only because one day I smelled a stink bug and I was like, that smells awful. My mom was cutting up some cilantro in the kitchen and I was like, well that smells like a stink bug. And now I just, I relate the two and I just, I hate them both. I have a deep set hatred for stink bugs. My second least favorite bug in existence other than cockroaches. Like I would much rather have a spider crawl on me than a stink bug. They're slow, they don't do anything, but they have wings and they smell like cilantro, they smell terrible. I don't, I can't, I really can't do it with stink bugs. They don't do it for me. So I used to just like kind of not like them that much, but um, and then I had a traumatic event with them that has scarred me for life. I'm not the same person that I used to be. One time, I was in bed. I was watching YouTube, scrolling through the internet, probably binge watching some Netflix, and um, I noticed I started to smell the stink bug smell, which was strange because I didn't see one anywhere, I didn't hear it, it's, it's a little devilish wings flapping around my room, like zzz. I get up to go to the bathroom because I'm a normal human being that has normal human body functions, and when I lift my covers off of me, I find a friend in my bed, in my sheets. And you know what that friend is? A stink bug in my bed! I had originally just kind of not liked them, like I was fine. That was something that I could easily take a like, paper towel if it was flying around my room and just snatch it up and flush that baby down the toilet. But that moment, that moment changed it forever. I could no longer look at them the same after sleeping with one. After having one of those little pieces of in my bed. In my bed. That was it for me. So I now had this crippling fear of this, of this devilish demon creature from hell. So I already hated them and I already hated the smell of them. But then, when I smelled cilantro, I made the connection that it smells like a stink bug. <coughs> and now I can't look at cilantro the same because it's related to that traumatic event. I can't, I just, I can't. I hate cilantro and I hate stink bugs and they smell like each other so I hate them both. I work in a Mexican restaurant so they were cutting cilantro and I walked in the back, I was like <laughs> Like I can't eat it without thinking, oh you're eating a stink bug right now. So now I just hope, I hope that I have ruined cilantro for you because I want you to suffer like I'm suffering on a daily basis. I'm completely sane, I promise, even though I'm sitting here talking to my camera about stink bugs and cilantro. Next time you cut cilantro, just give
give it a good whiff so that the time you smell a stink bug next, you'll be like, oh my god, Annie was right, it does smell like cilantro. Um, I dropped my biscuit because I turned too quickly, so now there's a biscuit all over my car floor, which is perfect and wonderful. But it's okay because I have coffee, and coffee solves all problems. This is how I feel about, about the biscuit. I just realized if you see something like swinging in the shot, this is um, Lolita. She is my car plant, and she keeps me company. And she's kind of like, kind of like the mascot of my car. Yeah, you see, she's beautiful, and I. It's the plant that's from Target, and then my mom actually made the little macrame thing. But um, yeah, so now we're gonna have a little drive around, drive around session. Listen to some tunes like the. Cool, is that what cool kids nowadays call it? Now I have to just make sure I make my turns more carefully so that I don't send my camera flying into 2052. Yeah, stop shiny. Said I need my party. Pull up to the party. Dash a digit, the schedule busy. My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie. My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. I have a very wide taste in music. Like, I really like alternative music. I listen to a lot of older music. This month has just been a larger portion of rap, so. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know I was a complete and utter mess because I was dropping anything. I was literally dropping everything. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. And of course we gotta end with a little. I know you know.